Um, I wouldn't call this a proper review, but oh well. Here we go. I'm going to talk lies of P. Honestly, sincerely, I am so very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. So let me make some couple things here clear. Okay. I do still think the concept is really cool, but the problem with Liza P is that it isn't very good. I said it. I said it. Honestly, I can't even finish the game. I, I can't. I just, I just can't. I really can't. <sighs> the concept is basically, for those of you who don't know, Dark Souls meets Pinocchio. Now, the idea sounds really cool, but there's only a few ton of problems. Uh, first problem that I have to point out is that the gameplay kind of just sucks. It, it does. It's basically Bloodborne's gameplay, but s slightly better, but also slightly worse. I'll explain in a bit, okay? For now, we're, we're going to put thumbtack in that for a sec. When it comes down to it, its overall usage of Pinocchio is terrible. Or, not terrible, just minimalist. It's barely there. It, I barely even call it a paint. <sighs> Lies of P, its Pinocchio aspect literally boils down to these things and nothing else. Or at least nothing else after 10 chapters, I should say. Maybe there's something in 11 or 12 that will that would have helped, but it too little, too damn late, dude. Like, ugh. Facts are is that uh, by now at Chapter 10, the overall Pinocchio aspect has been limited to if you tell the truth, you hear the air go whispering. If you lie, your springs react. And until I found a stupid ass portrait, that's all it's ever been. N no, really. That is it. There's nothing else for so long. Now, eventually, I think in like chapter, in some late chapter, I can't even remember which anymore. I can't. I eventually found a portrait. Now, this portrait. If I lie a lot, grows a wooden nose. Now, whether or not it shrinks if I tell truths, I don't even know. I honestly don't care. For how late this thing shows up, I don't give a shit. I don't. I don't. And I hate saying any of this, but honestly, the overall Pinocchio aspect is so bare-ass minimum to the point of where I'm ashamed of you. Just within freaking two seconds of just thought for two seconds, I already came up with three ways we could do this Pinocchio shit where it's not so bare minimum. As you lie, your character becomes more mechanical. Tell the truth, your character becomes more humanoid. Just like that, I've already come up with a way that's fuck tons better than what you've actually done here so far. <laughs> I, I'm honestly kind of just, I wonder what's the point. What was the point of releasing this? Why did you release this game in such an a in such a bare effing minimum state? What was the point of any of it? Honestly, that's not even the worst part in this game. There are far worse problems. Okay? Far worse problems. Gameplay sucks. I am not good at these games. Don't let Anyone tell you I'm good at these games because they're a liar, okay? I am way too reckless, way too chaotic, and way too aggressive. At best, I make good bait while you do the real work of killing the boss. And that's it. It. It's, it's frustrating. This What I'm about to say is frustrating. So when the game isn't boring as all shite, when the game isn't so boring to the point of where I'm falling asleep during some fights and winning still, mind you. I'm playing a, a Souls-esque game and I am winning even though I'm falling asleep. What the fuck? 
Are you kidding me? But there was two chapters after the first three that was just meh. Not, not good, not fun, not enjoyable. But it also wasn't hard and it wasn't as boring as the first three chapters. So, yeah. But after that, the game became radically inconsistent. Bouncing back and forth between boring, bullshit. Boring, bullshit. Boring, bullshit. Over and over again. But not once did I have actually any fun. At all. It was just boring and then bullshit. Over and over. I just... Mm. Now here's the thing. The reason for why it's bullshit is because un they decided to do something a little different than Bloodborne did. Whereas Bloodborne, you might not have been able to block for shit, but you at least could dodge. Yeah, you had perfect block, you know, perfect guard, not a BS, but you at least still had your dodging if your timing wasn't human metronome. So you had that. So you had something that kept you in the game. Pinocchio, freaking Dark Souls Pinocchio decided to make the dumb retarded decision of let's make it so all the bosses their basic attacks all of them follow and home the player well guess what this does it makes dodging trash when you are constantly even when it should be perfect couldn't have asked for a better dodge it still gets to hit you because they're following you they're chasing your ass with it over and over again the, their attack is just following you and chasing you and homing you. So even though you've dodged and you couldn't have asked for a betterly timed dodge, it doesn't matter. It still hits you. Be because fuck you for playing this game, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking, honestly. But what this does now is it forces that no matter what boss fight you're in, no matter what, you have to have, from the start, flawless, perfect metronome timing with your guard. All times. 24-7. And don't even try dashing because, as I said, these things are following you. So good luck. I've literally had opponents chase me two or even three times around the entire boss area because they're spamming, they're following, chasing me move over and over again until I finally get hit. They also have an unblockable, undodgeable move that they can use. Now here's the thing is... At First three chapters, they're not using this thing too much. It's not that bad. But, especially down here at chapter 10, I've had freaking opponents or even bosses as spam these moves as many as five or six times consecutively. No, really. They have spammed the unblock, undodgeable, red glowing aura bullshit move five or six times in a row. I have a spoiler alert for you here. That's not fun. I don't give a shit how much you love to suck these games dick. I don't give a fuck right now. Okay, no. I don't care how much you love to lick their balls and tell them they're perfect. This is fucking stupid. This is honestly not a very good game, despite the fact that it should be. This game has plenty of potential and even has some really cool ideas in fact they even have a good idea that's honestly kept me in this game for this long and if honestly if it wasn't for this i would have quit i would have stopped playing chapter fucking three okay i would have been done but i kept going thinking oh there's gonna be there's gonna be other weapons it's gonna be so cool when i attach this weapon to this weapon because they have this assembly system of where you can take your favorite blade piece and attach it to whatever handle piece you like to make a weapon this part is fucking genius. This is brilliant. Why isn't this in more games? Do, do you know? Do you know why this isn't in more games? Tell me. Why are you running? Damn it. You gotta wait. That's all. This is such a brilliant idea that whoever came up with it should get a pay raise. Times ten. They should be getting a pat on the back by everybody. They should borderline have people worshipping them. Because it's the best and only good thing in this game. If it wasn't for this part in the game, I would have quit. 
I'm not joking, it's the only good thing in this game! Okay. Now, does that mean that this system is flawless? No, it's not flawless. There is a problem. But compared to everything else in this game, it, it might as well be the second coming of God. Okay, it might as well be. We're talking that level of a gap here, okay? Even the flaw, the only flaw in this system is borderline beautiful, sexy, dirty magic compared to all the other flaws that are in this game. Yikes. So in this game, on top of being able to, you know, like typically you can upgrade your weapon piece, upgrade that, it, it only lets you upgrade it to a total of 10, but that's not that big a deal. The real issue is that upgrading your handle <clears throat> is so far trash. Now, maybe there's something past 10 that allows you to expand the upgrading to something more. But so far, uh, from what I've seen, upgrading of your handle is literally just, I've made it so it scales higher with motivity. I've upgraded that once, and that's it. N no, really. It literally is just, I upgrade it only one time. And all that upgrade is, is it has now a higher motivity, advance, or technique scaling now. <laughs> okay. Okay. I kind of wish it was a bit more than just that, but all right. I kind of wish there was... More than just that, I kind of wish there was also like, okay, I can also decrease weight or increase weight. As a result, if I decrease the weight, I might do a little less damage, but all of a sudden I swing faster. Or if I increase the weight, I gain less speed, but I do jack up my damage output. I kind of wish there was more, even if it is just those, just those two things. I just kind of wish there was a little more than just... Here's one thing you can do one time, and that's it. So, what's the what's the point of some of this then? Another thing I kind of would have loved is if I could have, in upgrading that handle piece, I kind of wish it was also upgradable to, into a vein, similar vein as if it was the weapon piece, whereby improving the materials or whatever have you, I all of a sudden now do a little extra, I'm getting a damage buff just from upgrading the parts within the handle as well. Or maybe I'm picking and choosing what do I want to enhance. Do I want to enhance my damage? Do I want to enhance my speed? Do I want to do, I want to do this? Do It would be kind of cool if I could even alter the way I wield that weapon even a little bit more by giving me options as I upgrade the weapon. Like, hey, do you want to use this uh, stance, let's just say, for a placeholder name? You want to use this stance, allowing you to attack faster, or just something. I kind of wish there was more to it, because it's kind of just minimalist there, too. But it at least has that whole assembly system, and attaching different weapon pieces does change and affect things, as well as what handle you've attached. These are all things that do honestly affect both the way you swing your weapon, the way the weapon feels, the way the weapon handles, the damage, the scaling, it, what fable things it can do. My problem is, though, it's just honestly, this awesome system should have been in a better game. A less flawed, underdeveloped game. And how? Why? what makes me so sure it's underdeveloped? Simple. The biggest thing about, the only thing I can say right now is that this is unacceptable to have not fixed and dealt with day one. Especially if you know you're making a Souls-esque game. Not fixing this is fucking stupid. You should be ashamed of yourself if not firing yourself as a penance for this. But basically, as you get into fights, the longer the fight gets, the more you're going to run into this problem. Which is that every time the game auto saves during a boss fight, the frame rate drops. Hard. Yeah, no, really. I've literally had... Just in chapter 10 alone, where they try to pit, where they've pit me against three assholes who are all moving really fast, all doing high damage outputs, 
and doing high initial damage, and they're all doing freaking status effects of overheat, electrical charge, and as well as freaking decay, and they're all trying to attack me at the same time. G great. Well, guess what? Because you're sending three at me at the same time, who are all fast as not and all doing shit ton damage, and one's capable of even juggling my ass. Spoiler alert here, that boss fight's gonna get long. But because it gets long, there's more and more autosaves the longer the fight gets. Just in that fight alone, I had seven autosaves before my death, and every single autosave, the frame rate dropped hard. To the point of where it was unacceptable and disgusting. The, f the fact that someone overlooked this and just let it slide in testing is fucking criminal. You should be ashamed of yourself for that. So here I am getting into boss fights, and because of the bullshit this game does, I, those boss fights kept getting longer and longer to the point where I'm at chapter 10, and I can't be paid to finish the fucking turd. I can't. Why should I waste my time? Elden Ring's a fuck ton better game in every aspect. Bloodborne's a better game in almost every aspect. Dark Souls 3, Dark Souls 2 are all better as well. I'd rather go repick up Lords of the Fallen, if you don't mind. That was also better than this. And you know what's another disgusting failure on this game's part on top of that? So I have, when it comes to the P organs, I've unlocked all the way to 4. And I have every single thing that says increases ergo acquisition on my character. All of them. And I also, on top of that, have an amulet that increases the amount of ergo I get per kill as well. I am still, for, ba for basic ass enemies, I am still only getting 170 ergo per kill. Chapter 10, and I'm getting 170 at most for most kills. Now there are two opponents, one who will give me uh, three or 400, and another one who gives me like eight. Problem is though, is I need 16,000, okay? I need 16,000 and above to level up one more time at level 82. I'm at chapter 10, and I'm only at level 82. Do you see the problem yet? There's not that many chapters left in the game. I am literally almost done with the game. And you are telling me you can barely give me enough to equal even a half. You can't even give me half the experience I need to level. For Christ's sake, most bosses have only been giving me at most maybe 10k at best at times. I have literally four levels of P organ upgrades jacking up how much ergo I get per kill. And I have an amulet increasing that even further. And you're telling me that it would take the mass majority of a fucking day for me to get one level? Fuck you. That's not good game design, asshole. By this point in other better games, I'm already almost at 100. Or I'm past 100, okay? Dark Souls 2, I was almost 100. Dark Souls 3, I was 100. Freaking Elden Ring, I was 112, I think. For freaking... Huh, just... It's... Fucking stupid. Quit being freaking a sprinkling little asshole and give me the fucking experience so I can level up properly. This whole game has just not been fun. It's just sucked. It's been boring, it's been bullshit, and there's not been a single good moment. And I just... And I don't even think there's a way to play with your friends, I don't think. Because every time I go to the bull thing where you're supposed to summon people, it just summons an NPC and doesn't give me any options or anything. Or at least I don't think. I don't think I, I, if you can, please let me know because I haven't seen anything that says you can play with your friends. And mind you, even if I could play with my friends, I don't think I want to. I don't want to put a gun to my friends back and say, play it with me. No. Hell no. What's wrong with you? I actually, shocking, I actually like my friends. Okay, I actually like my friends. I'm not putting them through this bullshit. Hell no. Hell the F no, okay? Look, let me just spell something out for you here, okay? I started this game before I respect, and I was at, before I respect, which was not long ago, okay? 
I had a grand total of 42 in health and 42 in capacity. And I was still often bored out of my freaking mind. If I'm using that setup, and I'm way too reckless and not very good at these games, and I'm bored, your game needs help. It needs help, for Christ's sake. Damn. If I start to look good at your games because of how boring it is, that's not a good thing. Damn. I should never look good when I'm playing these games, okay? I am I'm always too reckless. It's not something I'm going to stop. It's not something I'm going to change. It's something that's in me, okay? When it comes to games, I have a tendency to be reckless, chaotic, and kind of aggressive. And yet here I am. Sometimes so bored that I am falling asleep and still winning fights. I, that's not a good thing. Now, on an upside, at least that wasn't happening for bosses. If that had been for bosses, I would have just left already too, right? <laughs> but honestly, this game just isn't very fun. It literally is, when it comes down to gameplay, just a worse and 1% better Bloodborne. When it comes down to its overall Pinocchio aspect, it's too minimalist. I, I'm not giving a sincere score. I'm just going to give a bullshit placeholder score, okay? Uh, think of this like a score with asterisks around it. And the reason why is just because I'm never doing a review for this game. I'm not enjoying it in the slightest. It's not been fun in the slightest. It's been flawed as all hell. It's had tons of problems. It's not been enjoyable. It's been an absolute mess. So I'm just going to give, in air quotes here, 4 out of 10. Okay? And you can only thank that, you know, free and air quoted 4. You can thank that whole thing to the assembly of your weapons and nothing else. If it wasn't for that fun, that drive of, I want to see what happens if I mix this weapon with this handle. I want to see what happens when I add this with this, that with that. If it wasn't for that drive to collect weapons and handles, I would have never finished this game. Never. I would have just quit. I mean, maybe there's something I can do to try and fix it, but I'm not I'm not looking forward to it because what it's going to entail is I'll have to start completely all over again, the whole new file, and then start from there. not good it's not been good it's been pretty bad but yeah i would have if i wanted to fix my you know alter shit i'd have to go all the way back and i right now i know for a fact i'm not gonna bother doing that um theoretically there's a weapon that could have really helped me but i made a mistake so so maybe I can fix salvage this whole thing if I go back and get a specific uh, boss weapon. Maybe that can fix this. I am not sure. I'm kind of doubting it, but we'll see. And I will see you all. I'm thinking next week, but I have no idea because I'm too... Bleh, to think. <laughs> uh, just to give a heads up, next one is going to be Starfield. Don't expect joy in that one. Don't expect the kindness that I've so far given Rise of P. Like, I've had enough kindness to literally give this thing three takes and to sleep on it even. I can't be bothered to do that with Starfield. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to rip into that. I'm going to rip and I'm going to tear. I don't care if it's done. I'm going to keep ripping tear. <laughs> yeah. Dork's going to go now. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>